Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, the 4th of November. Um, many of you, I'm sure, are waking up blurry-eyed, still holding out for the next few days to see what happens with the presidential election. Kind of what we talked about, this expect the unexpected, right? Uh, whatever the will of the universe will be, will be. So we just hang in there and support each other and try not to stir the pot too much. And, um, the outcome has been decided by the universe, so we just have to wait and see how it all falls, okay? For those of you that are really concerned about it, uh, try to get your mind away from it a little bit today. And um, in the meantime, we will see where your cards fall, okay? So first thing I'd like to do, as always, as you know, is I lit my candle. I said my prayers. I'm going to shuffle the Wisdom uh, Oracle Tarot, I mean um, Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed I always pull three cards for the whole collective for everybody. Kind of see where we are generally, like in America or you know, around the world, whatever the collective is, is feeling at the moment, which is probably a lot of uncertainty, right? I'm sure there's a lot of uncertainty around. So let's see what's happening. It's a little dark on one side of my face at the window. The sun isn't quite coming in yet. It's early. But um, it's 8 a.m. here in Rhode Island. But I wanted to get this out to you today because I know there's a lot of people that look forward to this every day. So please leave me comments below if you are enjoying. And please give me a thumbs up, please, so um, I can continue to grow my channel. So they allow me to continue to grow my channel on YouTube. I would appreciate that. And if you can share it out with your friends so they are aware, I would be most grateful. And let's get started. Don't forget down below for your personal reading, go to northernlights.one. It's posted down below if you click the link under Donations of Love. If you'd like to donate to the channel, that's wonderful. I'm very grateful. Um, it really helps uh, me to continue to offer these services every day and every month, etc. And um, the private readings are right under that. And I hope you'll stop by my website and take a peek, see what's going on and what is offered so that you can take advantage okay all right so let's see i already shuffled so let's see what we get we got deep knowing we got in exchanging gifts and we got orphaned okay interesting card so deep knowing um is there a deep knowing do we you know i, I at this point it's not really focusing here let me see if i can get that to focus a little bit better There we go. Um, do, so deep knowing. Do we actually know what's going to happen? Do we actually know what's going to... Um, I'm trying to. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix this so that you can see it clearer. Here we go. Okay, so the deep knowing of what's exactly going to happen. Look, there's an owl that's sitting on top of the world or um, and, and just waiting, right? We're just, everyone's sitting back, sitting on their hands, waiting to see what's going to happen. But this is also just deep knowing for the day. Um, you know, stay in your own lane, like what we talked about. We are at a Mercury retrograde as of yesterday, which is awesome. And um, since now we are at a Mercury retrograde, turn up a little higher. Since we are out of Mercury retrograde, um, things should start to calm down with communications, with uh, being able to speak openly with each other, being able to understand each other better without miscommunication. Um, we should notice that it's a lot easier. Things, things will just flow easier once we come out of Mercury retrograde. And this is especially true for Geminis and Virgos because it's our, I'm a Virgo and it's our ruling planet. Um, so this deep knowing, let's see where we end up in the next few days, right? This is um, exchanging gifts. And I don't, I never see this card as a card of exchanging gifts for like actual physical gifts. This is more exchanging gifts of love, compassion, understanding, generosity, hope, faith, um, really keeping in your higher vibration. Um, look at the pink colors here, which is all about love. Um, that surround this card and, and so really just keeping our vibration very high keeping us in the positive um, as opposed to going down into the negative and the fear and the worry because what we what we put our attention to is what comes true right so we want to put our attention out there that um, 
whatever it is that the universe wants to have happen is going to happen. I mean, it, it's out of our hands. So um, let it go. Try not to worry about it. And uh, let's see where it takes us. Orphan, feeling very alone. Maybe you're standing out there. Or maybe you happen to go to work and there are a lot of people that are on one side or the other of the fence. And, and that's going to be, obviously, this is going to be the topic of conversation today is the election no matter where you are. So maybe you just kind of feel like you're on the outskirts and, and you're not agreeing with some people. And that's okay. It's okay to stand in your own power and be your own person. You don't have to always agree with everybody, right? You don't always have to be the person that um, is giving in to everybody else's wants and needs, okay? It's okay for you to stand alone. And if you feel orphaned by that, it won't be for long that you feel orphaned, okay? Because I think you know, people are going to start to realize that the outcome is nothing they can change at this point. So getting angry about it anymore is is kind of is kind of foodless, right? Stay in that high vibration, and um, you'll have a lot more people who are ready to um, come on over to your side, so you don't feel so alone. Okay. All right. So let's pull some cards. I'm going to shuffle them. I'm pull some cards. And then do some Reiki at the end. If you stay, the five minutes of Reiki that I do with every daily reading. I'm going to put this down a little bit so you can see the cards. There you go. See that it works. That I'm shuffling. Again, shuffling based on my intuition till it feels that I should be done. I've always shuffled a lot this morning, but I want to make sure that you see me shuffling on camera. And they're done. Okay, I shuffled about 25 times beforehand. I'll give it one more shuffle um, just to be sure. see what we get. We're going to start with, um, I think we'll start with earth signs today. So we're going to start with Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So Capricorn, magician, beautiful card. This is the card of pure manifestation. This is the magical card. This magician has all four of the um, elements in the card. He has the wand, he has the knight, he has the pentacle, and he has the cup. So he has emotions, he has abundance, he has building his career and finances and um, the truth that's around him. He has the infinity sign, so he's very in balance today. So Capricorn, you're very in balance. Um, it should be a really good day. You can manifest, manifest, manifest is what I'm hearing. So um, remember, what you, where your energy goes, how does it go? Where your energy goes, or where your thoughts go, energy flows. So where your thoughts go, whatever you're thinking and putting into the universe is the way the energy is going to come back to you. So if you're living in lack, for example, and feeling, oh, I don't have enough money, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough money by the end of the month, etc., etc., you will still have enough money, okay? You just have to put it out there in a different way. Gee, I'm a little bit concerned about money, but it is going to all work out. I know it is. So thank you, universe. Or don't even put out the part about being concerned. Just that I'm very grateful, universe, that you're giving me more than enough money to meet my needs. Okay, Capricorn? So manifest like crazy today. Virgo, we have the Two of Cups. Um, there we go. The Two of Cups. Um, this could be about both either personal or um, a work relationship. The Two of Cups is often a cup um, that is... Um, getting along with somebody, face to face with somebody, you notice the cups are all about emotions, but look how calm the waters are below, right? Um, you could also be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, a water sign with the two of cups today, um, Virgo, and, um, but it's getting along well. You notice the sun's starting to come out from under the earth. Um, they're looking at each other, they're face to face, the rainbow, if you can see the, there it is. The rainbow between the two cups, they're getting along famously. So whether this be in a relationship or whether it be um, in a, in, well, a relationship at home or at work, I should say, it's going to be a good day for that. So just know, Virgo, um, just hang with it and um, keep your head held high. Uh, go with the flow and know that the universe has got your back today. Okay? Now we go to Taurus. Taurus, you have the judgment card. Um, and this is you actually... Um, kind of tooting your own horn, if you will. So I, I really feel like some of you are, will be going to court today. Some of you will be 
um, somehow in an atmosphere of uh, judgment. So I don't know if this is a person that's judging you or if this is actually an actual court case where you have to go to court and be judged. But either way, I feel like it's going to work turn out in your favor because you're in charge of making the music today. You're in charge of, of bringing this home. This still isn't really clear. There we go. You're in charge of bringing this home. And if you're in charge of bringing this home, it's going to go in your favor. So just know, like I said, there could be some of you Tauruses that are having to go to court for something, whether it be a traffic violation um, or child support or something like that. But um, you, there's some of you that will be going to court. There's some of you that um, is this is just about people standing in judgment. And there's going to be a lot of that that's happening today. And Taurus, you just got to kind of let it go and, and not engage, right? Not activate or not... Um, take into action what anybody's saying to you. Um, not, the, not be the person that reacts to any of that energy today, and then things will go fine. And remember, these are cards of energy. So even though whatever is coming up you may not like, you can always change it. You always have free will. We always have free control over whatever happens to us. And I think that's important to remember over the next few days. Okay? Fire signs. Aries, we have the Four of Wands, beautiful card. Um, this t is about love and family and compassion and, and being part of a family unit that is nurtured. Look at the, the gateway or the archway that you're standing under, which is, is all nurturing. You're all grounded. You're, it's a beautiful card for family relationships. And um, Aries, I think that's what you're going to be taking a look at today is those family relationships and where you stand and, and how grateful for you are, you are for those family relationships. Um, notice they're all wearing different colors. So we have greens for the uh, for the healing energy. We have blues for the throat chakra. Again, Mercury came out of retrograde, so that throat chakra is very imp important. Then we have purples, which are all the healing colors, right? So they're all wearing different colors. They're all bringing something unique to this relationship and this family relationship. Um, but it's beautiful. It's a lovely day for that, Aries. So enjoy. Um, the next card is Leo. Leo, we have the Queen of Oh, the Four of Pentacles. Oof. My eyesight isn't great this morning. The Four of Pentacles. Um, fours are always about angels to me. So when a four comes up, it's always about it. lots of angels around you. Um, and I believe that to be true today for um, for Leos. Um, this could be a gentleman that's coming into your life that is very wise and very knowledgeable. And he'll be in your life today and he'll be helping you with things. This could also be you standing in your own power. He's wearing a red robe. And of course... Um, you know, sexes or, or, or it doesn't have to be male or female. It's, it's divine masculine and feminine energy. This could be you, even as a female standing in your own powers, you know, wearing this red robe, which is all about, um, the root feeling very strong in your root chakra, feeling very strong in the things that, um, you have as a balance at the bottom of your life, feeling very good about it. And of course the pentacles, um, the Four of Pentacles, you're growing your money, you're growing your abundance, um, whether it be in health, wealth, destiny, love, etc. Uh, and you're growing. And he's, he's kind of putting them out there to show you what he's been working hard on. And he's going to continue to work hard. Okay, and that's kind of where I feel like you land today, Leo, as well. Continuing to work hard, but the money's coming in. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Sagittarius, this is the Five of Swords, Five of Truth. This is a card, it looks so desolate when you first look at it. And look at the way he's holding his swords and it's cutting up his arms and, and he's really not paying much attention. He's got his sword up like he has to be in battle, right? Like um, like he has to be on the ready in case somebody's ready to attack him. And, and he might fight, Sagittarius might find that to be true today. Maybe it's about the election, maybe there's a lot of um, supporters in either direction or, or opposite direction of what you feel is going to happen and you may be standing up and fighting yourself but don't let it overtake you is what I'm hearing see how the, the light is coming up the the, um, the sun is starting to come up over the horizon so it is going to be a brighter day it may set, start out seeing very negative to you but it will be a brighter day by the time you're done so try not to let that worry you um, just know that it could be it could start out as a day of kind of self-pity a little bit of despair um, what's happening? My world seems to be turned upside down. Um, Sagittarius, those are all real thoughts. But get get out of your head a little bit is what I'm hearing, okay? Manifest a little bit. That positivity is coming your way. And that sun's going to continue to rise. And, um, you know, you can see little bits down here, right? little bits of greenery that's starting to come up and grow again. So we, you're not out of the woods. You're not... 
uh, but you're also not, um, you don't have to feel the self-pity. You don't have to feel the, the self-deprecation. You don't have to, um, you know, have the swords not being held in a way that are safe. Um, you can turn it around, okay? He's waiting for a battle. You don't need to be, okay? Use your free will, and you don't need to be on edge and ready for the battle. Okay, the Seven of Cups for, let's see, so Aquarius with air signs we're going to now. The Seven of Cups, illusions and delusions. So this might be totally, totally an Aquarius that was so totally involved in this um, whole election process. And illusions and delusions, and we still don't know answers, and we still don't know where things are going to go. And, and, you know, just try not to get as caught up in it as you are. I feel like you, you might be, there might be some... Um, Aries who, I mean, I'm not Aries, um, Aquarius who've been staying up all night, kind of watching the results trickle in and, and not knowing where we stand. And we still aren't going to know where we stand for a couple of days, right? So try to let it go a little bit. Try to focus on the other cups that have some really nice things coming out of them. Okay, like the flowers, like the rose in the middle cup. Um, it doesn't have to always be about illusion and delusion. Yes, it's a, it's an un, it's a surprise the way that the... the um, the battle has come out so far, but there's a reason, right? The universe always has a reason. So Aquarius, try to let go a little bit of, of that illusion and delusion today. Libra, we have an air sign of Queen of Wands. And if you look at the Queen of Wands face in here, she's just very knowing. Look, she's surrounded by all these purples. She's very calm. She's very innocent. She's holding the wand, not like she's going to bang it in her hands or anything, but just very gently laying in her hands, if you can see that. You see how she's got it light, like she's holding it almost like an offering, like a, a peace offering of some kind with all the purples and the healings. Um, you are the queen. You are standing in your own power today. You are feeling very good. You are feeling very strong. It's going to be a really good day for you as far as um, conversations with people now that Mercury's out of retrograde, as far as um, of not having it be um, neg a lot of negativity. And I think you have to be careful Libras to stay away from that negativity today or don't let your mind wander to that negativity, okay? Try to stay in the power. That's what the light at the end of her wand is saying. Try to stay in the, in the, in the positive, not the power. Try to stay in the positive today, okay? Gemini, again, we just came out of Mercury and Retrograde. Gemini and Virgos are both planets, are both signs um, ruled by Mercury. So we're going to feel a lot stronger today. And, of course, you have the, the wreath of success. Maybe you're feeling... Um, very strong about something or, or winning at work or maybe you're going to get a promotion. Um, I actually feel a pregnancy with this card today. Um, so I would, tour, I, I mean, um, Gemini, I, I don't know why I forgot that, sorry. Um, so I actually feel like someone's going to find out they're pregnant, so you're going to find out somebody in your family is pregnant, um, but it's very, it's going to be celebrated because, look, he's riding in on his horse with the flags and the and the wreath of success and celebration, and, and the people that he had to fought, fight are down below here. So you no longer have to fight. I do also feel that this has something to do with um, your work environment, not just the, that you might hear about a pregnancy or that somebody might suddenly um, be announcing that they can get pregnant, but I also feel like this is about work. I feel like this is a success at work, something hard you've been working on. Right to try to bring um or bring that to the fruition. Excuse me, I need to take a drink. So it is a success. It could be a promotion. It could be more money coming in. It could be a bonus. It could be a success of so many different patterns. So pay attention and, and grab onto where that success is coming in today. Okay, Gemini. Then we get to Earth signs. We have Capricorn which is the seven of wands, seven of wands. Again, look at the way he's holding these wands. It is the truth coming out. It is the truth coming forward. Maybe something you didn't want to see, something you didn't want to look at. He's holding five of the swords in his arms, which he's holding them so haphazardly, he's going to end up hurting himself if he's not careful. But he left two swords on the ground. Why did he leave the two swords on the ground? They don't look broken. So the question is, does he feel like he has enough? Does he feel like he has enough with the five? He doesn't need to pick up the other two swords. Does he have enough to fight the battle? He, maybe that's ahead of him. Um, I do feel with this that you are going to have an interaction of some kind, a negative interaction, it feels like to me, with, with a boss or with a superior today. Um, so kind of just ride the wave, remember, of, of not taking a stance and, and trying not to let 
let anybody poke you in the direction of having to put up the fists. You know, try to keep that even keel, try to stay in that higher vibration today. Um, I think that's going to be really important for you today, Capricorn, okay? Virgo, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. It's a new beginning today. Um, we do have the um, full moon that we just went through. It is coming around. It is waning, and we're going to come down to the the uh, the new moon, and, and of course, uh, well, first the crescent moon, and then the new moon. This is your intuition. Trusting your intuition, trusting your gut feeling, Virgo. You have very strong intuitive powers, Virgo. And just coming out of Mercury in retrograde, it's really going to be a perfect time to, to take advantage of those. The waters are calm. There's lots of fish. There's lots of abundance in the waters. This is a fresh new start. You know, an ace is always a fresh new beginning. And, and in the cups, it's a fresh new beginning in the way of emotions, in the way of um, how people see you, in, in the way how, how people, um, how you come across to people emotionally. So take advantage of that. Your cup is overflowing with these beautiful emotions today, Virgo. So take advantage of that, okay? And finally, we have Taurus, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Moving quickly, he's working really hard. Look at his business, right? He's still making another pentacle here. He's not even looking up to see all seven that are above here that he's that he's worked so hard on. Um, he doesn't feel the need to look up yet at all that. He wants to continue pushing to that nine and that ten and to get where he wants to get. And it's usually very quick moving. Um, pentacles, of course, are abundance, abundance of money, abundance of love, abundance of good health, abundance of career, um, it, it could be abundance in so many different areas. I really feel that the, because the pentacles are so big, I'm really drawn to the fact that this is abundance of money and that you're really starting to feel that um, money's coming in the way you want it to. Maybe a bonus is going to be um, in, the, in, the, you know, in the atmosphere at work somehow in the next um, week or two, maybe, um, or it could be eight weeks since this is number eight. Um, or it could be a promotion of some kind. Maybe your business is is um, getting bought by another business and you're a little unsure of where you're going to, excuse me, I have the hiccups, where you're going to end up. But this card is telling me very sh very keenly and very sharply that you're going to be able to have the opportunity to stay where you want to if you want, okay? Money is there. The abundance is there. You may actually move up in a position. Um, so really nice cards. Really nice cards today, everybody. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. It feels like with the uncertainty that's going on in the country today with all this stuff with the election, I think it's going to be really important for us not to focus on that, right? Let it go. The universe is going to have it go in whatever direction it's meant to go in. We have no control over it. Whether it's something we like or not, we still have no control over it, right? It's out of our hands. So why worry about it? Why waste that fear? Why waste that sensation? It's going to go where the country needs it to go because the universe will take care of us, okay? So let's do some Reiki healing. Make this a little louder, but I, I want you to be able to hear me. I'm going to put this up so you can see me. We're going to start with opening our crown chakra, right? Like we usually do every morning and picturing this white beam, white light coming down through our crown chakra into our head, coating our third eye, filling our, our whole body eventually, but filling our head, filling our third eye opening our intuition, our throat chakra is opening, right? After Mercury retrograde, we're finally able to open our throat chakra and, this, and communication will be much clearer. Going down each arm, almost like we feel tingles of light and energy and, and healing at the end of our fingertips. Going through our entire chest and then our back, our upper heart, our lower heart, into the chakra of our solar plexus, which is above our belly button standing in our own power, feeling that power and that divine light, right? We, we are in charge of our own destiny, and that's where this light is showing us today. Then we go into our sacral chakra, which is all about relationships, right? The divine masculine and feminine energies, balancing those in our, in our sacral chakra. Our root chakra, this is all filling with light as we move the light down. Our root chakra is all about our foundation, where we come from, what we have to stand on, how strong we are in our foundation. The light going down each leg and our pelvis, and as it comes down each leg, it's kind of like on the fingertips, feeling a little bit of electricity. So our entire body right now is filled with this swirling, beautiful, healing, white light energy that Reiki brings in. For some of you, if you'd like to outline yourself with a, a darker white light, It'll help keep the energy within you for the rest of the day. 
um, and it's a great way if you come back every day to renew this Reiki energy, to renew this Reiki healing, okay? So I'm going to start now that the white light is within us. We're going to take three deep breaths in, hold it for two seconds, and then release anything that no longer serves us through our mouth, and a nice blow out of the energy. I sometimes picture the blow out of the exhale as another color of anything I no longer need, like the color red or something. The white light we're going to bring in with our inhalation, okay? So let's try it from there. We're going to inhale, hold for two seconds. Exhale what no longer serves us. Inhale with the white light energy, more white light that's already in us. Hold for two seconds. Release what no longer serves us. I'm going to inhale. White light energy, hold for two seconds. Exhale. Now we have this beautiful white light in all the cracks and crannies and crevices that we couldn't get to when it first came into our body. We're completely full of this beautiful healing white light energy. So now I'm going to send energy. Help make your day go smoother, be happier, be more peaceful, be more compassionate and loving. Staying in that higher vibration today.
enjoyed that Reiki. It's always so peaceful and calming for me as I give out that energy. I hope you're able to take it in and enjoy today. And um, I will hopefully try to plan on being on tonight at 7 o'clock um, live. So I hope you can join us. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.